Hello everybody, we're going to do a couch healing today. So I want you just to lie yourself down and get nice and comfortable. Here we are in the beautiful music corner of my room. The womb room, as I call it. I want you all just to start to relax. Make sure all of your limbs are comfortable. Start to breathe out. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment and nobody needs anything from you. Relax and relax. I want you all just to imagine that you are growing roots out of your body and down past your hips and your knees. Down. Down and down to the very centre of the earth where they find a giant stone to wrap around keeping you tight to Gaia. And we're going to call in your guides, your angels, your helpers to surround you in loving light and love and protection. Just imagine a ball of golden light emerging from the upper realms and enshrouding you within its warm folds. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment and nobody needs anything. Now we're going to call in your guides, your angels and your helpers to aid with this healing so that we are all working for your highest good and harm to none. So I have got some chakra stones, they're nice rough stones here. And first of all, we're gonna take this selenite, we're gonna run it down your body. Make a nice little noise, don't they? Double strength. We're going to sweep up, cutting any ties, any cords, not of the Creator's desire that are around the root chakra. So excessive worries about your bills, your finances, your money, your home and your family life. Cut these cords. Cut these worrisome, stressful, energetic cords, please. And now we move up to the sacral. We're going to do the same here. We're going to cut any cords, any ties, not of the creator's desire. If I pick the stones up a little bit, you can see them better. Cutting any cords, any ties, not of the creator's desire that are holding whoever is watching, who is holding them back from living a full life. Any emotional issues, any sexual healing. We ask that they be restored to what they are meant to be. And now, the solar plexus. 
And I have two stones here because they are a pair. This is Herkimer Diamond from New York State. And it is a powerful toxic cleanser. If you are someone who suffers from ooh, all of this electronics around us, these will help cleanse. We also wish to cut any cords, any ties, not of the creator's desire that is stopping the recipient from feeling their own power and self-worth, any confidence issues. Now for the heart center and this is you can see the green and the pink this is watermelon tourmaline this is not a high grade but it was still quite expensive and it is in the shape of a heart so again we ask the guides helpers the creator to cut any cords any ties not of the Creator's desire that are in, through, around, about, above, below, within and without, between anyone watching these videos, to help with any breakup issues, as well as emotional issues, arguments, anything like that, holding the recipient back. And now the throat. And here we have a blue calcite. We ask the creator and the guides to cut any cords, any ties, not of the creator's desire, that is in, through, around, about, above, below, within and without, between the recipient washing and any doubts, any miscommunication. Any worries about speaking up. And to help, speak your truth. And then we have the beautiful third eye, Labradorite. Asking the Creator to cut any ties, any cords, not of the Creator's desire. Stopping you from seeing, using your intuition. We cut ties with confusion. And we ask that whoever is watching can access their full knowledge. And then finally, we have the crown chakra stone, this beautiful piece of apophyllite. We cut any ties, any cords, not of the creator's desire, any blockages, from the messages coming through from spirit guides, angels, animal helpers, ancestors, and most importantly, the recipient's higher self. We ask the angels to tend to any chakras outside of the body, the three above the head, and the two under the feet and any extras, the hara in between the solar plexus and the sacral and a higher heart chakra. Okay, let's sweep energy down. Doing a form of dry brushing. can also use the amethyst. Okay. 
Oh, that last one was a little bit. Let's do one more just in case. That last one was really difficult, really stubborn. That sheet of chi. Okay. So I've got some Reiki symbols here. I think we'll start with the Master. I'll hold it in this hand and I'll draw it. We draw the Daikunyo. Daikunyo, Daikunyo. A symbol of divine balance of mastery and harmony. We ask this symbol to overlight the healing. Daikunyo. We then draw the Seihei key for clearance. Seihei key. Seihei key. Seihei key clearing. Clearing and cleansing and working through. Any physical, emotional, or mental issues. Asking the angels and the guides to use these symbols appropriately where I miss. I'm only human, I do make mistakes. But the angels and the guides will repair those mistakes. This is the Chokure symbol. Spirals of divine light of protection, turbo boost to anything that needs a little bit of extra help. And finally, the distance healing symbol, the Honshad Seisho, mm. removing anything from timelines that are not needed in this timeline but also through any karmic timelines Sorry, I keep clicking the camera stand. Okay. So we're going to start at the top. Even though we've already cleared going up, we are going to start at the crown. I'm going to hold the crystal near you and send in energy to you and to this proxy crystal that represents your crown. Proxy being, well, you know what proxy means, don't you? This means that this is a representative of you. Here I am talking to you like you're an idiot, so I do apologize. So we send energy and light into this beautiful crown chakra of everyone watching.
We ask that any confusion be lifted. We have already cut the ties and the cords, not of the Creator's desire, but are blocking whoever is watching from accessing their own messages. From their healers, from their angels, from their ancestors, from their animal guides and spirit guides. Just clear, tease any of that last remaining residue out as well as sending energy through the points back in. You may have a picture in your mind of your higher self. Ask to be shown now. You may see a person, you may see anything, you may just see a light, but know that your higher self is there always with you. And we draw the master symbol, the daikumyo, that I held up first. Daikumyo into this and into your crown. And we replace this. And take a breath and breathe out, releasing anything that needs to move away from your aura. As we work down the body, at the third eye, and this is one of my favourite, favourite stones, a hunk of labradorite, and I may say that wrong, labrador, labradorite from labrador. Let's rub this over the third eye, imprinting those colours of the midnight sky and the flashes of the northern lights. That deep blue, the gold, shining its light into the darkest recesses of the third eye. And also rub it around the temples Easing any headaches if the recipient watching struggles from headaches. And I'm going to hold this behind you as well. Chokore. 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 be able to feel this clearing so that channels of claircognizance, clairsentience, clairvoyance and all of the other clairs, there's quite a few of them, will work and that the recipient is able to recognise the thoughts that are trying to break through from the guides, from the higher self, 
at that crown chakra feeding down into the third eye. And now for the throat. Clearing. This is quite a delicate area. Brushing away any last residue, activating the crystalline energies within this blue calcite. Clearing away the debris of ancient lives and future lives because apparently it's all happening at the same time. I can't get my head around that. Maybe you can have to look into quantum physics for that. You may need to clear your throat, any little coughs. That is clearing. Any aches and pulled muscles at the neck and the shoulders. As we draw the chalk Chokurei. This is an energy centre which is a creative one as well. Sing, hum, recite poetry, craft, draw, paint, sculpt. All from the throat. We ask the guides and the channels to activate that creativity. That freedom of speech, something we're all so wanting to do, aren't we? But remember, that freedom of speech comes with a responsibility for you to be tactful. Okay? Breathe out. Now for the heart, this beautiful, beautiful watermelon tourmaline with its green and pink flecks. Can you see that there? So is your heart fractured? Most people's are. Let's tease out that heavy energy. Throw it aside, asking the angels to activate that violet flame completely around us so that any of this debris, any of this emotional upset that you have not been able to shift, we ask for that to be removed now. Say hey key. A little bit more work at this one because we all have heart issues. I'm going to take the pendulum up here. Clear. Clear the heart chakra of everybody watching. Clear it of sorrow. Clear it of hate, clear it of anger and frustration, clear it of grief. Help it to remain strong, help it to remain intact and help it to shine out as much love as it can to everyone and to be able to receive love from everyone. We ask for trust issues to be restored. Remember, who you meet is not your history yet. So don't tar everyone with the same brush. A lot of clearing. A lot of clearing. 
So imagine that heart that is broken and imagine your angels, your guys, repairing those cracks and fissures with beautiful golden leaf light. So that it looks like one of those Japanese broken cups or bowls that have been repaired and it's even more stunning and beautiful. There we go, the pendulum's stopping now, so it's happy with the clearing. So we're going to draw a symbol into this heart chakra, and I'm just going to hold that there so you can see it. This is called Hearth. And this is from the Egyptian Reiki Sakum. Probably a couple of different... it into this, probably from a, a couple of different systems, might be in Karuna and Holy Fire as well, but I'm not attuned to those. So the hearth has gone in for love, for self-love, for love for your brothers and sisters and for Gaia. Solar plexus. Now we've got two of these here. I'm just going to pop up. I'm going to work with one at the front and one at the back. Okay. Clearing any electrical smog, clearing any self-doubt, clearing losses of confidence, clearing any time the wind was taken out of your sails, clearing, cleansing, reactivating Any digestion issues, front and back. We ask for energy. I'm just going to swap these now as we now send energy in. We ask for energy, light, confidence, healing joy to be brought into the recipient watching. We ask them to call all those parts that have scattered back to themselves in this healing. Look how that shines, isn't it beautiful? That golden light crystalline energies. I'm going to draw the chakra into you with that. Let's do the one at the back. Chakra. And just take a smooth side if I can find it and just seal in this energy center. And now to the sacral. We are using orange calcite because I really don't have orange stones. I'll have to get some. And here we are at the area of your abdomen. Emotional wrenches, sexual healing, another creativity area, creativity for future people, but also 
you're an artist and you're being creative, you put emotions into whatever you're writing or drawing. And they do say that some of the best songs are born out of heartache and trauma. We ask for any pain issues in this area. We ask for regularity of menstruation. We do also ask for pain relief from fibroids. Anything else I have not mentioned to be worked upon. Chocolate. And then finally, the root chakra, the Mul Hadara, represented by this black tourmaline. Now I'm going to turn this around because this is the end part that is going to collect negative energy into it and it takes out of that side. So the Mul Hadara, the root chakra. This stone absorb any last residue. I'm also gonna pull it down. Down as you're sitting there washing this. And down and into the stone. Let's just brush the Malhadara. Any digestion issues? Okay. We'd like to balance any underactive or overactive chakras. We ask for protection as we draw the choke. Breathe out. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment. Nobody needs anything from you at this moment. I'm going to draw a symbol of abundance. Mara. Into your root chakra. We're going to activate it with a double choker ray from Angelic Reiki, from Reiki Sacrum, and probably many others. Chokure. Mara. Chokure. Out. Okay. Breathe out. Is that root chakra balanced? Yes. Is the sacral balanced? Yes. Is the solar plexus balanced? Yes. Is the heart balanced? Yes. Is the throat balanced? Yes. Is the third eye balanced? Yes. And is the crown balanced? Yes. Now I'm going to ask the angels and the guides, have all of the other energy centers been done as well? Yes. Thank you. Okay, let's just polish up the aura now with some nice white stones. Actually, I'm going to put that cherry quartz. Oh, I'm going to 
I'm going to use pinks just to sort of give you a buff. So we have cherry agate or flower agate and we have angel or a quartz. Hold these together. And I'm just going to polish your aura. Just imagine those angels and guides just fluffing it up now. Smoothing it down. Fluffing it up smoothing you out over the back of you as well. And all the way down and over the proxy of your mat. Asking the angels of the violet fire and the violet flame to activate and transmute any negative energy into positive energy. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment. Nobody needs anything from you at this moment. Relax and rest for as long as you need to. Reiterate your roots growing down, down and down into the ground. Hold a large stone if you need to. You are perfectly safe, perfectly secure, and perfectly loved. So I'm going to say bye-bye. And I will see you the next time. We'll do some visualizations. Haven't done them for a while, somebody pointed out, so I have got some ideas and they are brewing in my mind as I ask the guides and the angels to create them. So now I'm going to do the 10 number countdown that I have started to do now because of adverts at the end. So we are going for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Turning off now, see you next time.